Naomi Wolf is an author you need to read. Her latest book, The End of America, is her attempt to educate us on the ten steps a society takes to go from an open democracy to a closed society. Yeah, there will still be elections and newspapers and television shows, but there will be no liberty. Number one, you invoke an internal and external threat. Start with 9-11 and build to Islamofascist. Whatever, it don't matter what you call the other, as long as you've got another to pin the blame on. Now she takes her examples mostly from Italy and Germany in the early 30s. Number two, create secret prison systems where torture is used. Number three, create secretive military tribunals. along with paramilitary forces to keep order internally. Vis-a-vis -vis Blackwater et al. Number four, create a surveillance apparatus. Keep tabs on the citizenry, you understand? Number five, infiltrate and harass citizen groups. You know, kind of like what we've been seeing. Hell, they even infiltrate, ilf, infiltrated the Friends Society. Quakers, you know. Try to get them to do violence. Number six, arbitrarily arrest, detain, and release citizens. They did that to a couple of editors the other day. Held them for 24 hours and then released them without charges. Target key individuals, first with smears, then job reprisals, and then criminal charges. Number eight, restrict the press. When the Washington, not the Washington, was well, the New York Times talked about the Swift Bank imbroglio. There are people calling them treasonous and traitors. Number nine, you recast dissent as espionage and criticism as treason. I mean, didn't the shrub recently enact a couple of executive orders that if you criticize what's going on in Iraq, you're going to be labeled as an enemy non-combatant? Number 10, subvert the rule of law. How many signing statements has the shrub initiated since he took office? Well over 700. The office of the executive is to merely execute the laws that Congress enacts. If he thinks they're unconstitutional, 
he's supposed to take it to the court the supreme court to do is the one to determine whether an act is constitutional or not it's not within the prerogative of the executive branch all he is supposed to do is execute the laws anyway ten points to ponder If you're into that sort of thing, it's getting pretty scary out there. But I figure, hell, I'm on my second life anyway. They want us to quit dissenting. They want us to quit criticizing. They want us to shut up and shop. So my three steps, number one, quit shopping, buy locally made goods, buy food that's grown as close to home as possible, and buy second hand if you got to buy it all. Number two, don't work for any industry or corporation that contributes to the military or surveillance industries. It's hard to do since they're well over half of our economy is based on them, but if people quit going to work in those industries, we can shut them down. Number three, don't be silent. You gotta keep talking to your neighbors to your friends. It's an interesting thing, but it's getting harder and harder to buy bullets at the gun stores. So make yourself a crossbow. Even a little old lady can operate a crossbow. There's ways out of this mess. Take a little time, do your part. Ain't no use complaining or feeling bad. Feels good. Well, uh, that's enough for now. End of the circle file.